Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. Today we start on our new topic Captive Portal. So we're going to take the practical aspect of Captive Portal that how you can able to configure Captive Portal and anybody is in your environment as a guest. So you will going to give them the access for particular amount of time and they are in your environment and they can able to access the internet. So without having a further delay, let's get started. Here on my screen, you can able to see I am on control center, which is considered as the dashboard of Sophos Firewall. For that, first we go to administration. First, we go to authentication tab. Under authentication, click on users and create user. Click on add. Now name. For example, if you want to give name as test1, okay as username okay and the name should be test1 okay description you can give as guest network or guest user users okay and we can add it as a user okay then the profile should remain as it is the password so password if we give I have added the password Okay, now email address. Email address, any address you will give that. Okay, I gave my own email address. Now group. So if you created any group, uh, otherwise give them open group. Okay, surfing quota. So if you want to give them any access, you can able to give them the access. You can also add the surfing quota criteria as in it should be cyclic or non-cyclic number of hours okay then validity then maximum hours the person can able to set it. so if it's guest for one hour we can give them one hour access validity as well that how many days they can able to access just unselect unlimited and then you can enter the days okay and save it currently we are not touching anything we are not creating any policies okay then access time you can allow the time also okay allowed only working hours non working hours depending on your requirement network traffic you can also create a network traffic policy okay that how much uh, traffic uh, should be transferred and traffic shaping that how much uh, guaranteed bandwidth or limited access bandwidth you can give under traffic shaping uh, you also have one option of vpn we'll also going to see the vpn configuration policies as well but currently we're not touching anything okay then mac binding mac binding means that for example if you want to allow that particular device to access it so first your firewall is going to check the mac address of that device if the mac address matches then only that particular guest can able to access the internet this is a very good security features in terms of uh, captive portal so currently we have no uh, mac binding so we are not touching this okay now keep everything as it is and click on save okay so it's asking me that your password does not match up to the criteria. So we first go to the password and we'll change it as based on our requirement. Okay, and save it. So we have saved this detail. Yes, so you can see that the test one user has been registered successfully. Once the profile has been created, the next step is to go to web authentication. Okay, scroll down a bit, and here you can see captive portal appearances. So here it asks for the layout first. So if you have custom HTML layout that how your captive portal screen looks like so you can create that as well okay currently we are keeping default layout okay then logo if you want to add your organization logo you just select the image and you can do this as well okay then uh, user sign in prompt so sign in to access the network it's just showing then username and password okay now this is asking for having a sign in access just keep everything as it is okay 
just press ok you also have an option to make a background color you can change the custom color based on your requirement of your organization just click on apply okay. once your captive portal appearances setting has been updated now the next step is now the next step is to create your firewall rules and policies click on rules and policies add a new rule new firewall rule enter the rule as captive portal traffic okay then the rule position must be at the top then if you if we have a firewall log then we just select this action as uh, accept source is LAN okay LAN traffic going towards WAN traffic okay keep everything as it is okay if you have created any of the security profile as in web filtering application control IPS you can do that as well now we go to click on the match known users then select the group and users so we have created this test one we unselect any we select this test one and apply on ok ok so we have selected this now scroll down if we have any security features we just enable that currently we are not adding anything and click on save let's hold on for a while so as you can see here that our captive portal traffic has been created now you can able to see here that our captive portal uh, profile has been created okay and you can see the LAN test one that we created van now we are going to go on our next uh, to access captive portal as an HTTPS then your uh, call and call then your firewall IP address 172.16.16.16 okay colon 8090 colon 8090 okay press enter when you press enter you can able to see that this is the username and the password that we need to create so the username that we created is test1 the password is This will take some time you can see that you are signing as test one so our policy is working okay now again go to firewall and you can see under captive portal when we refresh it you can able to see that some KB traffic has been in and out and uh, our role has been configured properly okay thanks for watching guys